everyone, Green Panda here, and let's just see if first year's not going off to a very good start. Um, <laughs> so here I am, running up the stairs, like, all ready to, like, do this, to do me recording, chilling, doing an illustration, finishing up before the night and uploading it today. And I look down, and there is my camera, sitting on my desk, very innocent, like, hello! And then... I pretty much internally scream and think shit because I was supposed to charge the battery and the battery was inside the camera on my desk not getting charged so it's almost six o'clock and I haven't done anything all day and I wait until it was night to get the lighting just right and it's like oh my god no so now it's charging and yeah this is the voiceover just to see the funny story that basically happened like for this whole train wreck like this whole train wreck um <laughs> so yeah so if you see the video of me doing it now, that's basically the aftermath, but internally I am pretty much crying inside and thinking, oh my god, I need to do this quickly before the day is out or I've just failed this challenge on the first day. It's like, talk about tripping at the starting point while everyone else is like running ahead doing their own shit and me, I'm like on the first day like on the ground with a broken face. <laughs> Okay, so at this point I did struggle a bit with this one because it was like create a pattern and I was like, that's boring. <laughs> and here's me thinking I need to keep this simple, need to do what the art book says, just do a pattern, colour it in, colour it a deer, upload it on YouTube, boom. But my brain is pretty much like, nah, let's make this fun. So now I'm like trying to do a full and freaking illustration like for the first deer and I'm thinking if I keep this up, I'm gonna have burnout and none of these videos are gonna get done before the year's out, but who cares? I like making things difficult for myself. Um, I've seen lots of people on YouTube do these videos that haven't made it a challenge, this is just me being a weirdo for the new year and thought, frick it, I'll just do it. And also, <laughs> my country's in another third lockdown, nice! So great, with all this extra time, I think I knew that I think everyone knew actually, and what am I talking about? Every single person in the continent knew that we were going to have another lockdown. Like this whole Christmas thing was just ridiculous. So as soon as it happened, we were like, yep. Like disappointed but not surprised. So here's me already prepared. I'm like, I was ready for this. <laughs> I got my camera, my tripods, I got everything set up. I'm so ready for this. I hope it's going well. So yeah. It's funny because the first lockdown I was productive, I got shit done and then uh, it just went by in a blur. I can't even remember having showers, it was ridiculous and I was like, I'm just blinking at everyone and thinking, what day is it? Like that's how bad it was, all the days blurred together, everything was just all over the place. So second lockdown, I took better care of myself, remembered to have showers all the time, everything was great. I knew what day it was but I was just in bed on my phone. Like, I wasn't doing anything. I felt like, no matter what, like, nothing was going the way I wanted it to, and it wasn't really going well, mental-wise. Either way, it was like, what was it? It was either my physical appearance was, like, compromised, or it was my mental stability compromised. I couldn't have both, so I couldn't actually be creative into the things I was doing. I was like, whatever. So this time, even though it's locked down again, <laughs> I am hoping that I'm gonna get shit done. I'm gonna be sorted out with all the stuff I'm doing. And this is basically me trying to like, um, ugh, let's see, this is basically me trying to catalogue my days because like I do lose track of the days ridiculously and people's like, keep diaries. I'm like, what's the point? It's like, I do the same thing every single day and some days aren't productive and then you have days where too many things happen in just one day and it's like, I can't be bothered to look for a diary that's just blank space, blank slate, blank week, nothing, nothing, nothing. Suddenly I went to like a tour, stadium, whatever. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's like you've only done one thing for the whole year. So this is pretty much me uh, get me shit together basically and try and do a challenge and think it'll be fun. So yeah. Okay, um, what else can I talk about? Oh, um, I'm not really sure I should do a video about this. Who knows? I'll just do a little snippet demo here now, so if people like this part of it, I could just do it again. Anyway, as an artist, do you ever do that thing where you buy a bunch of shit that was recommended and you find that half the stuff that every artist uses on YouTube, you don't use it? The likes, you get things like, um, try to think of something. Whiteout pens. I don't use them at all. 
unless it's Posca, but other than that, I barely use wire pens. Or I buy like masking tape, like I bought a ton. And you're buying like a ton of things, like washi tape as well, that you think you'll use, and you're like, nah, I haven't used any of these. But then you buy some things and you use it all the time, and you're thinking, oh my god, this was just an impulse buy, I could have just not bought it. And the thing I'm basically using in this video, the thing that was an impulse buy, the thing that was not about to get because I was thinking maybe I should just not bother with this, maybe I should just, you know, just leave it. But then I was like, nah, I'll get it. Because I saw someone do a bullet journal online, they were using these little disc things and they used it to make a big smooth circle without using like a protractor. And I was like, oh, I want that specifically. But I ended up getting stencils along with it. I don't know why, I just wanted this little circle disc stencil itself, not the other stencils with a bunch of shapes. I didn't think I was going to use them. But then, um, I've been using them a lot and they had to be the best thing I've ever bought. And that's the worst bit, is like, you end up buying things that you don't use that people recommended and then you buy things on impulse and you use it all the time and you're like, where have you been in my life? So yeah. I think that's what makes it worse not like as an artist because the thing is there's a reason why the year, um, you know, artists are poor, you know, they're not really that thing either, you know, the skint, they have no money, the broke. And it's like, that's the whole thing of seeing like, what starving artists, that's what we're called because we don't have any money. And yet it feels like every single advertisement for art stuff in YouTube or reviews or anything goes out of their way to be annoying enough to a point where you don't know if something's good or not. And it's like, dude, we have to be careful what we buy because it's either gonna make or break what we're doing. So yeah, it's very frustrating because it feels like every other product that you get is simple to the point, says this is what it does. But when it comes to artists who are like very, you know, tight on the money because they can't afford to spend the money on willy-nilly shit, especially on art supplies, it's like, oh yeah, this might work, but then it depends on the person, like putty. Putty is a kneadable eraser, you can use that to like erase things. And I love it. Honestly, I will fight anyone who hates it because I think it's the best thing I've ever found. And plus, there's no shrapnel. You know when you have an eraser, you rub things out and you have like a ton of like bits that you have to like wipe off the paper every single time. Well, as soon as I got the putty eraser, that never happened and I was so happy because I can't do my art in my bed. So it's really bad because you're literally like sleeping in rubber shrapnel and it's just not fun. So when the putty came, I was like, fuck yes. So people online are like, I hate putty. Some people like it. Some people don't think it's great. Some people think it's amazing. Putty is great if you keep using it. If you stop using it, it dries up and it looks like a dried up Play-Doh and it doesn't feel nice at all. If that's just happened to me, I've just lost a putty because I brought it downstairs because I was using it and I forgot to bring it back up. And I think it was exposed to nature or something and it just died a very tragic death. So yeah, keep, uh, keep needing the eraser, keep thinking in the putty or something bad will happen to it. But other than that, I love it. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to be doing more of these. So if you guys don't like it, well, tough, because this is the challenge I'm doing for myself. But again, there's like other like YouTubers out there who do like better aesthetic art stuff. So I won't be worried about that. But if you guys do like my progress and literally think it'll be amazing if I finish this within a year, no promises, but I'll see what I can do. Then yeah, stick around. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, hope you guys like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.